Okay, you guys, are you ready for the final battle? I don't know, but looks like the men are. Take that! Whoa, what's the occasion? Little impromptu training session? Well, when I think about fighting Duke, I know I gotta be as strong as I can! I liked your spirit. I'd expect that from Carol, but Yuri brings a twinkle to this old man's eyes to see you training. On second thought, let's call it a day. <laughs> we were just getting started! Never fear! I think I can teach you a thing or two. You can thank me later. <laughs> You're volunteering to help Raven? You're gonna jinx him. <laughs> now, don't be like that. There's no beating an old man once he finds his stride, you know? Would you spar with me as well, Raven? Hey, well, if you both want to, I can't say no. It'll take more than luck to beat Duke after all. All right, Carol, no mercy? Right. No mercy! <laughs> Fight! Okay, that was kind of cute, them having a little powwow there. It wasn't the most serious thing in the world, even though we are walking towards the possible end of the world. And most certainly the end of the game. I think it's safe to call that out now, guys. The game, of course, is Tales of Vesperia. We are boogieing it up again. Wow, the weather is frightening today, isn't it? Look at this. Look at the uh, occasion. There it is. The Tower of Tarkaron, which should be the final dungeon. And we are going in there, fellas. So this might well be the end of the game today. Now, let's not kid around. This dungeon might and probably is humongous, so I Whoa. cannot promise that we're going to end today. It might be that it uh, goes on for so long that it'll have to call it and at least continue until next week. But we'll see. Maybe they'll surprise us by having this be a simple dungeon. Get straight to the final fight. You know, no. We'll... That's, that's what awaits to be found out. Damn, this is huge. It really feels like it reaches the sky. And this thing was just sleeping in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. That must be a life-absorbing formula expanding around it. It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Perfect. People always heave ho with a deadline looming over them. Okay, good that you're still staying chipper there, Patty. That might be true. But it still puts us in hot water. If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well, but... Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. Oh. You know, I could have just gone with it's so gradual you don't notice it yet. Could add a little bit of drama as we get through the tower. Maybe, like, having the life force start to ebb. I mean, they could still do that if it, the effect is powerful enough to counteract the spirits, maybe, as we go on further. Eh. So we should be fine as long as the spirit's power is greater than that formula. Yeah. Then we just need to run right to the top before that changes. Okay, there you go. Some some little drama and stakes here. That'll exhaust us before we even face the Autophagos. Can't we just get on Baul and fly up to the top? Oh wow, interesting. I didn't even think about that because I'm so used to games just being like, you gotta do this thing. I didn't even think about the fact that we could just fly. I doubt it would affect Baul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not. Who do you think I am? Sorry, old man, but it looks like we're walking. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> we must brace ourselves and press forward. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead. Okay, and that is how it's gonna go. Ah, I see the women are also ready for the final battle. Is fighting really the only option with Duke? Well, if he's in Tarkaron, then I think we'll have to. My mind's already made up. If only we can defeat the Autophagos with the spirits before he completes the formula. Do you think you'll just let that happen? As long as he's sacrificing people to achieve his aims at Tarkaron, we have to stop him. <sighs> What's eating you, Estelle? Are you that conflicted about fighting him? Yes, but we won't win if we go in with doubts. Oh, I don't know. If doubting is part of your nature, you should trust that nature in battle. Wow. What? Well said, Judith. Maybe that's the right approach. 
We're not your typical band of heroes, after all. You do what you can. You take the hits, but you don't lose. Sound about right? I think that the more you fret, the brighter you'll shine, Estelle. You're all so... thank you. Huh. That was an interesting little discussion. I, I like that uh, the, the guys are just like, Hoo-ha! Let's all do stupid, like, trading and stuff and be a bunch of goofs. Meanwhile, these, these ladies are actually dealing with some heavy shit here. Contemplating the upcoming end. So, as you can see, of course I'm playing as my man, uh, Flynn here. So, apologies if these first few fights are gonna be a little bit of me trying to get the hang of it again. It's been ages since I played as him. It's very likely that for the final battle I'm gonna have to tag in Yuri as the as the uh, biggest DPS guy. But for now we're gonna play as Flynn as the hero, Yuri as the backup, and of course Estelle and Rita providing the magic, so healing and offensive variety. Yep, that's a... that's a final dungeon, definitely. Crystals, floating platforms, giant void. That about hits all the notes. Don't know what the deal with those uh, bottled up kaiju over there are. Whoa! Man, how could all of this be kept underground for so long? What is this place even, anyway? They didn't really ever elaborate, except that it's some kind of weapon to stop the Artifagos, but. Who built it, and why, and well, I guess to defeat the Artifagos, I guess, but like, how? The reason so many Blastia were excavated from around Ospio must have been because this was here. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, that's a good, yeah. The ancient Garayo civilization. This is more amazing than anything in a book. I see, those guys. So I guess the same people who built Zaude to seal the Artifagos? Also built this weapon. Strange. I guess. Mm -hmm. I know this is a weapon because he's going to use it against the Artifagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? Maybe they had to sacrifice such a huge city so they could stand a chance against the Artifagos. This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. And now one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. Hmm, I don't think that's going to be an option. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autophagos before we fight Duke. Oh, I guess that's also an option? Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity. I hope so. Oh, listen to this soundtrack. Very grooving, has some Mega Man X vibes to it all of a sudden. I dig it. The ancient civilization of Goraios. What must the people have been like who lived in an age that produced buildings like this? Well, I'm no expert on their lives, but I have some ideas from the Blastia we've excavated. Except for the Autophagos, from a scientific perspective, their civilization was nearly perfect. Hmm. The Blastia would have given them power equal to that of the Intellikea. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, the Antelikea would have wiped them out. It's hard to believe that the people who were so scared of monsters, who locked themselves inside of a barrier, could have been so mighty. People got too much power and destroyed what they built in the process. It's not that uncommon. But there's one part of their legacy we're still paying for. Yep. They left behind the Atafagos for folks who came after them to deal with. Maybe they didn't have a choice, but that doesn't make it right. You take responsibility. We... We'll have to own up to whatever choices we make from now on, too. Wow. That's right. If we're gonna make a world without Blastia, we gotta make sure it works. We'll do a proper job with our own hands. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, grammatic stuff. All right. That's what we'll be doing. Is this platform... That's odd. Did that sound come... Interesting. There is a sound that plays when you walk on this platform, but for the moment it doesn't do anything. Let's just ignore that wolfman for a hot minute. I'm gonna look at these, uh, these right here. Oh. There was a challenge, apparently. I guess I un unleashed these monsters, these fantails and EX unicorns. That's, uh... 
That's a very scary unicorn. What's your new spell? Idol Wave. My god. Lucio's had this, I think. Damn. And an ancient... No, what was it? Ancient ring? What, what ring was it? Go. Man, these guys are pretty, pretty beefy, these monsters. Shut him down, give him that. There we go. Couple of monsters down. Okay, they're not that tough. Why were these guys in these tubes, I wonder? Also, you can hear there's some new music here for the final dungeon for this fight music. Good stuff. Angel Ring's the move she does, which has the big explosion. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so you got OVL bonus two. Oh, interesting. There's still one in a tube here. What if I release the other one? Can I do that? Let's check that OVL bonus first, though. Sword Whip is done, so now we can put the Hyper Shock Yo-Yo to use. Occasionally fully restores TP during Over Limit. Kind of nice, but I never really put her on Over Limit, so... I don't know if I want to activate that skill. Only five points to use, too? Okay, I don't know. I think I, if I put combo magic, that might be more valuable. She can just, like, combo out of her moves. Or, al or alternatively, I could have, like, put points into, I guess, magic too. To make her magic that, that much stronger. Yeah, let's, 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 uh, glass cannon her up a little bit. I think that's the safer bet. Very much, much magic. So magic. Interesting, we can't release this other one from this thing. Okay, there's a lot of... This is a very elaborate area, in case you haven't noticed. You can climb up here, there's over here, another skit. To the very top of Tarkaron. Oh, you're full of vim, Patty. We're gonna need a whole lot of vim to take down that giant Atafagos. Just don't use it all up before we get there, okay? And with the Atafagos gone, it will be the dawn of a new world. One without Blastia. There's nothing to fear. Everyone will be able to move on, even without Blastia. I'm sure of it. Aww. You saw Yoder and the people from the guilds in Ornian, right? With them in charge, people will learn to live, even if there are problems along the way. The possibilities are bigger than a blue whale! I believe that. Even without the Autophagos, there would be no future in sacrificing life after life like Duke did. And I intend to fight at your side to guarantee a better future, Yuri. I'm counting on you. Boy, big, big heavy stuff we're dealing with now. Okay, so... Aha! So we can't go over here. So let's try going to the left, dealing with this werewolf first. It's not a this werewolf. Like Holy moly. Schwert and Grimza. Wow, I kind of went over that guy. Wow, shoulder check that lion. Good stuff, Schwert. Ooh, this lion. Got really... There we go. Ooh, unfortunately that spell just whipped right there. Seems like the enemies are pretty tough here, because look at the health of everybody. We have gotten... We have gotten ourselves a little bit uh, beat up here. Damn, didn't get that... Okay, well, they hit hard, but it looks like we can deal with enemies in this area. Okay. Look at that, we beat that guy all right, so... Ooh, they dropped treats? Nice. It is very much worth it to fight enemies here, then, if they drop treats. That's crazy good stuff. So we can't get across this barrier. Just can't get to that. Oh, there's a lot of... I'm gonna have to, like, activate... Really? We're gonna have to, like, activate some sort of bridges here. Alright, Fantails and EX Unicorns. We did this once already. Let's 
shut him down, then you... All right. I forgot that Flynn had this ability that'll uh, paralyze enemies occasionally. Get some good work done. Yo, Rita! How could this happen? Ow. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. She's just like, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> there we go. Knock down all of them. That was what I was looking for, is shut down the whole lot. Gotta protect the stealth. Jesus, okay, and I thought we were doing okay, but never mind. This is a, uh... This is not gonna be easy after all. These enemies can shut us down pretty easily. There we go. I was like, where's that... Where's that, uh, life bottle I was looking for? Fuck off! She was so close to getting healed, too. Oh well, we'll just have to let Estelle pull this off again. I just need to really keep the defense on Estelle, I guess. Damn, 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 damn. Oh wow, I didn't, I didn't get it. Well, that that uh, Hellfire Blade landed nowhere close enough. Alright, we're back in the saddle. Took a bit of a beating there, but we're doing okay, and we only used one... Only used one life bottle, so, so far it's all good. It It is possible that the enemies here are going to be just as tough as in uh, Reloise Hollow, which means that we might have to pop those moderate uh, skills on at some point. Mod moderate uh, tactics. I, I can't say for sure. These guys weren't too bad. These uh, this looks like fun. Schwertz and whatever this big dude is. Grimza, yes. Stop him. There we go. That was actually pretty good. Sword rain and... There we go. It even reaches it right there. It doesn't land too short. Okay. I'm doing okay, I think. Don't... Let's not despair. Oh, okay, well now I'm kind of blowing it. Dragon Swarm. Take this, you Sabertooth Tiger. Guess it's not a lion so much as a Sabertooth Lion, maybe? A Smilodon, as they are known in some circles. Wow, you uh, whiffed there, didn't you? Big man. I, I really hope there's going to be some option to, like, get out of this place or some kind of store we can get to once we're done here, because um, I'm trying to be very conservative with my equipment for the moment, but uh, as you can see, uh, as you can see, I can get a big helping of damage at times. Nice with the book. Alright, we're doing okay. Trying some technical points here. Like, I don't really want to drop a TP gel on Flynn yet, because I'd rather grind those up by beating up single enemies. But of course, we do get very little at a time. Or use a sorbet yet, either. Maybe one sorbet. There we go. I can do even better than uh, a treat, though. That's some good stuff. Oh, and lots of skills for Patty. Yeah, I'm trying to play it very conservatively when it comes to items, because I don't know what our options are going to be for getting more items later on? I really don't, so... And what was the situation? Oh, we only have one new weapon for Patty. I never did buy a new one, so it's time for the Saturn Claw. Get some work done with that. Now she got Vitality and Spirit 3, both of which are great skills. How am I gonna afford any of those? Well, if I take off Spirits 2, I can get Spirits 3, which is a net plus. I guess I'll do that. Spirits is useful. Nope, don't need more magic lenses. Now then. Wow, this really looks like... This looks like you could interact with this. Maybe this would activate a light bridge somewhere or something, but nope. 
doesn't seem to be how that works. Or maybe I was being too hasty there? I don't know. I'm trying to boogie it up. Ooh. So you can summon monsters to fight with these this consoles. So nice. Alright! Oh, that lighted a little short. That's right. There we go. That one went a little bit better. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, everyone's after Estelle. Come on. I noticed that Flynn also has Guardian Field available in his selection of skills, but I didn't set it up yet. I don't know. His, he can also do first aid healing, although I haven't been a little busy to do any healing so far. Mid. Ooh. Also, he's got all his uh, offensive spells, but I haven't really used those either. There we go. I, oh, I, I whiffed it too. That's so annoying. I probably, I should probably just focus on my sword play when I play as Flynn, right? I have the option to heal folks, but let's let's do that. In fact, I probably should do that in cases where these guys are in trouble. Like, look at that. Estelle is just getting chased by that unicorn. Oh, good job there, Yuri. Look at this damn unicorn just on Estelle's ass. Ow. No, you don't, unicorn. You wanna be unicorn? He's got two horns. Come on, guys. What kind of unicorn is this supposed to be? Oh yeah. The sign of victory. Yay! Yeah, pretty good. Really shut that guy down at the end there. I appreciate that void attack. Still leaves all these creatures here, and there's still a treasure chest over there to get. What did void attack do? Occasionally prevents staggering when receiving a few physical attack. Well, I guess that's kind of useful. Oh, there we go. Finally landed one of these. Golden opportunity. It's nothing personal. Nothing personnel, kid. Or only two of these? Oh yeah, we can shut these guys down easy enough. Damn, that was a good combo. I like that. Damn it. There we go. Now let's work on shutting this guy down. Victory calls, and I come. As you will. Yes. Cool. I don't think we we've seen these two do a high five yet. I actually completely forgot about these two. That's awesome. Here in the final dungeon, getting a high five with these two as well. Great. With uh, Estelle and uh, Flynn. The cute part, of course, is the fact that, the, again, the voice actors are uh, brother and sister. Uh, Sam and Eden Regal with those two. That just makes it, I don't know, a little nicer as well. Aha! Uh -huh. Imbued with the powers of Earth, this Terra Crest. A hat solely for Judith, eh? Interesting, because this Critia circlet was also just for Judith. But this is... this is fine. We will put that on. A good find, a good find. Now let's see... Yes, yeah, certainly seems like a large... elaborate... Uh, final dungeon, doesn't it? Doesn't seem like it's a short shoot up to... Uh, up to uh, what's-his-face uh, Duke at all, is it? Or indeed the Adafagos. We'll see. I I have a weird feeling we are not going to uh, we are not going to uh, get to get to Duke or to get to the Adafagos without encountering Duke. So there was a teleporter up there, but that thing was locked. Oh, how kind! The enemies have not. Oh, interesting. This guy has respawned. I thought there was one more enemy to the to the left there, but maybe I'm just imagining things. All right, fine. A fight it is. We got a head start. All at once. All right, let's see if we can't. Damn! Still getting in there up close. Come 
Ooh, nice job there, Rita, catching both of those guys. Cool, I got the the bear man. Well, I don't think it's not a bear, but it's got the same body shape as the bear type enemies we've faced. So. Damn, this this round's going pretty well. I guess that um getting them staggered really did change the situation. Uh oh, now now Estelle's in trouble. Ah, not for long. Now we're just ganging up on this one unicorn. The sign of victory. Yeah. Yay. You got pretty good. All right. All going good. Ah, resurrect. And w which three was that? Resist three. Right. Do we have a new? We had a Sonic Cleaver for uh, repeat. So let's put that on runners and runners two. That's really good skills, especially for repeat. I want to be doing some free running with him. So so that was Orochi we got done with. So Resurrect and Resist 3 and Stat Boost. Resurrect is super good. I kind of want that. Oh, but it costs 22. Of course it does. I'm not terribly surprised it would be that costly. I uh, don't know what I put on for repeat at the moment. I guess I'll save those two points, see if I get something later on. Oh! The bridge worked. Curious that. It hasn't worked... It doesn't work at previous ones, has it? Ah, uh, well, I landed low on that one. There we go. I think we need to play it careful here because there's so many enemies now they're gonna probably mess with the casters I hope oh, I'm like, this guy's right next to Estelle I'm gonna deal with him and hopefully Yuri can keep the ones off of Rita oh man you dirty unicorn you you see how dirty that was just sneaking in an attack Go, eat that. Healing circle, nice. Uh, okay, yeah, no. We've got the situation under control, I'd say. Oops, sorry there, Rita. I tried to stop this guy, but yeah, that wasn't great coordination on our part. Yeah, that went really well, actually. Guess practice makes perfect. HP recover and high tension. Let's review those skills as well. Oh, still working on a bunch of stuff here, so no hurry here. Besides, was I, did we get a? Oh wow, Vesperia number two is a weapon. Oh yeah, okay, cool. So we'll, we will equip that once we're done with uh, with uh, this weapon here, the Holy Avenger, but not quite there yet. Oh wow, I thought there was a chest here. That was just a light effect. Hmm. This is a very elaborate area, isn't it? Uh oh, I did this not stun this enemy. Nice. We must be cautious. Yeah. No. Ah, really thought they wouldn't reach me with that. Oh, this guy's gonna come right after. Estelle. Oh, oh no, now I'm really getting... Oh god, I really got the short end of that one. These two just ganged up on me. Good god. Oh, hey, thanks, Yuri. Yeah, that went... Actually, I'm pretty happy with how that went. Nice, got both of the lions. Ooh, nice. Big finish. Right, sent that guy flying. Whoa there, Estelle. Yep. 
There we go. Hey, look at how well we're doing. Look at our technical point situation. Even despite my earlier spam, I've really gotten up high on that again. Ooh, true treats. We're gonna have so many treats once we're done here. It's gonna really help towards the end game. I'm really happy. So glad that the enemies drop treats in this area. Seems to be the bear guys. Either the bear or the lion, so. Uh, Carol was the one who learned Rebirth 2. Right. Now, do we have a new weapon for Carol? I don't remember if we got Silver Edge, right. That's the one we got, so that you can enjoy that, Carol. I don't know why I'm bothering to do this, because I feel like the party we're rocking at the moment is the one we are going to be rocking throughout the game, you know? The, the, this final area, I, I really feel like that. Unless I tag in Patty just for shits and giggles, because I like the character so much. But like, uh, yeah, I... I I'm, I'm, I, but but, but I, I guess I'm just like thorough like that. Like I feel like I do have to take care of these little details here. Is put these in, handle the characters' uh, situation. Let's just put it in step away. No limit bottles. I guess this is the problem of me going shopping and buying all this stuff. Is now all this stuff is here. There's a teleport pad right there. I, I'm gonna guess it's a teleport pad. I, I guess I don't honestly know what it is, but... We don't know how to evacuate them yet. The one up there was locked, so... Aha! Ooh, a sacred chain! A chain made from metal of another world, said to have sealed something that leads to the truth. The truth is out there. Cool. Liner shot? Basic attack will change to small energy shots, capable of ranged attacks. Wow, that's... Uh, wow, that's really cool. I really want that for her. We gotta finish this yo-yo real quick-like. What a find! Her getting ranged attacks is gonna be huge. Well, so I left that one enemy unfought. I, I guess I'll do that. I, I feel like at this point we don't have to fight every enemy. I'll, I'll fight plenty Sorry, as we adventure through this dungeon. So missing out on one enemy here or there. Eh. <laughs> ah, with me, you dumb lion. Aha! Didn't expect me to do that, did ya? Wow, these lions are actually easy to juke with the uh, back steps. Of course, right now they're ganging up on me pretty damn good. Well, I shut down one of them, I guess. Oh yeah, Nightingale, perfect. Exactly what I needed because they're... Yes, got both of them. Well, I mean, only one of them died, but I mean, I got both of them with the beast. Let me teach you who the beast here is. Oh, nice, there's a little backdraft on the beast, too. Yeah, it costs a lot, but might as well put some work in there. Y yeah, indeed, Yuri. Okay, so it is the lions that drop the treats. Because that was the only enemy type in this encounter. And touchdown! What did you get with your touchdown there, Judith? Right, I remember now. That's the one that is immediately dropped down. Did we get a new weapon for her? We did not, so I guess we'll cross our fingers that we'll get a new weapon in this dungeon. And then we'll provide that to, uh... Provide that to her. Interesting. Have we been down there already? I, I, I have trouble keeping track. Crusader 13! Ancient bow named after a renowned sniper. This weapon will never miss its target. Nah, I don't know. My gameplay. Alright, not crazy amazing abilities on that, but uh, I'll increase the damage. Sure. Aha! Look at me. I avoided that guy like a pro! Hold on, now I'm getting actually a little lost. That's a whole different area over there to the right. No know how to connect to that yet. Okay, let's deal with this guy. 
Oh, oh really? This looks, again, this looks like something you could interact with, but it's just a prop. Because I, I keep expecting something that's going to allow us to activate some of this stuff in this dungeon, but so far I'm getting big no-nos on that. Actually, you know what? I will do this. Because I was missing one life bottle. We lost that early in the area. I'll probably never remember to pick that up anyway, so I'll just do that now. Aha! Wow, I'm getting a little lucky with these. Ninja dog mask. Mask for ninja dogs. Huh. Thought those were fictional. Cool. That actually looks super neat. Again, I kind of wish you would get these uh, visible on characters, but... Just isn't that era of games. Is that area to the north a place I've been to? I don't think so. This is so damn expansive. It's kind of messing with my perspective a little bit. I'm normally pretty good about keeping track of where I'm going in a place, but... This giant tower is really messing with me. Okay, well, this is a whole new area because now we're on some kind of exterior. We have a great opening now. Let's take care of them quick. 